everyone. Welcome to this video Alltrix hands on questions. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel. Now let's get started with the question. This is a common programming question. We'll input two numbers from user. We'll find the sum of odd numbers recursively. Let's look at for an example. So scenario one, we have entered five and seven. So the output sh should be five and then 12. So if you see first value will be the same value. Second value is getting appended to the previous value. In scenario two, we have an even and odd in that we'll get sum of only even, sorry, odd. And final output are two even numbers where we will not get any output. Okay, let's move on to all drugs. First, uh, let's bring in an input. So we'll bring in the input data here. Sorry, text input. Let's keep it number. Let's keep two numbers one and three to this. Since it's user based, right, we will have to bring in our text box from our interface to Raspberry so that that user can enter his value. We bring in first text box, make it as first value. Then we'll just attach this symbol, okay, to this lightning symbol here. We'll get our update. In this, we'll update the first row, okay, we'll keep it as default. The second number will again bring in the next text box here. Similarly, we'll add this to our input. We got our update. In this, we'll update the row number two, which is the second value. Now, let's check out whether the numbers which we are getting is odd or even. For that, we'll bring in a formula tool from prep. Let's connect the input to this formula tool. Let's add a new column as check odd. The expression would be mod of. Here it accepts n comma d. So n is going to be our number and we'll divide it by 2. This is done. Now we'll have to filter out the odd numbers. For that, we'll use our filter tool here. Let's bring in this input. We can use a basic filter where the check odd equals one. Next step would be to add it recursively. For that, we can use this multi-row formula tool. We'll pass in all the true inputs to this. And let's write the formula. We'll create a new field. So what we have to do, the number which we are having, right? This number from the present row, we'll have to add it to the previous value coming from the other row, okay? So we'll go to row minus one and we'll add the new field value. We'll add a macro output to this. Let's connect it. Now let's save it as new workflow. Let's make it F3. Let's go to a new workflow, insert it, and let's bring in a browse tool. So now our macro has two boxes. Okay, second one we have not renamed, fine. Let's check what we have to do. Let's give 5 and 7. 5 and 7. Run this. So we are getting the value of 5 and 12, the desired output. Let's start out with 6 and 1. So we're getting only the odd numbers, so which is one here. And let's try out the last scenario, which is four comma two.
and we don't get any output thank you for watching